Hello everyone and welcome to the second lesson in our Getting Started in Status series. Today we will be talking about basic data visualization in Stata and a few different techniques for approaching data visualization. The first thing you want to do is open Stata. Um, I already have it open here, so I'm going to go ahead and import the data I want to work with today. I went over this in detail in my previous video. Um, so just find that file on your computer and move it into Stata. I'm going to be working with labor statistics from 2008. So I import my data and Stata will give me confirmation that I've successfully done exactly that. To see what my data looks like, I use the describe command. I get a list of my variable names, their types, um, and the names that we're using specifically to refer to them. And I'm going to go ahead and build out a list of summary statistics using the summarize command to find out a bit more about the various values that I have for these um, variables. So I have an average, a mean, a standard deviation, a minimum, maximum value, etc. The first visualization technique I want to work with today is the plot command, which will create a scatter plot for a given x and y variable. So in this case, if I want to relate uh, visually wage, my y variable, and education, I would use the command plot wage educ, which represents education, years of education. So this result gives me on the x-axis a range of values for years of education completed and on the y-axis a range of wage, uh, wage values that correspond to these values of education. I can also use the scatter command to do this. So if I were to type scatter um, for scatter plot and then pick two more variables I want to work with, let's say I want to work with wage and experience. I would say scatter, wage, experience. Again, your y axis variable, your y the variable comes first, your x axis or independent variable comes second. So Stata here will build a um, plot to represent these values. And if you're looking to move data into, for example, a Word document, a final project, an assignment of some kind, the scatter command will visualize it in a way that's much more um, aesthetically pleasing. Once we've done that, we can begin working with plotted lines. Um, the most common way to do this would be to use the graph command. So let's say I want to work um, once more with wage and education. I would say graph two-way scatter. And what this does is it tells me that I'm creating a graph of a two-way scatter plot with the wage and the education variables. So I'd say graph two-way scatter and I'm going to use um, the lfit or linear fit command to create a line of best fit for this data. Now I need to specify what variables I want to work with. So if I'm saying wage and education, I would say lfit wage educ. So once I've done that, um, So what we've done here is we've created a um, scatter plot that relates education and wage. I have a line of best fit through my data. Um, and again, these are the values of wage that various um, levels of education or years of education completed would predict according to the data. Um, so that's what I'm working with here. The other thing that I think is worthwhile um, is showing how we can add in a confidence interval to this line of best fit. Um, so returning to this command, I had my graph two-way, and what I did there was work with, on one hand, linear fit for wage and education, and scatter wage and education. So this is my create a scatter plot command, this is my create a line of best fit command for these two variables. The other thing I want to do is, and let's say we're going to use um, age now, just to get a little bit of variation. 
if I use the lfit ci command, so add ci here, this is saying linear fit, line of best fit with a confidence interval for wage and age, um, and then scatter wage and age. So now what we have, um, and it's a bit difficult to see, is this um, line of best fit as well as a gray band around that line of best fit representing the 95% um, confidence interval, the range of values we are 95% um, confident our actual value will fall between. And just for clarity, I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time with a different x variable. Let's say we want to go back to um, experience. So again, I get very similar results. Um, I have my line of best fit, and I have a, a very narrow confidence interval, as you can see, um, representing the range of values that I'm 95% confident my actual value will fall between. That covers basic data visualization in Stata. Thank you for watching. If you found this lesson helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Have a great day.